time. Okay, that did it. Sarah, don't tell me you're having visions. Oh, no, just staring into space. Hmm. No. Okay, then, let's get going. Upheavals transform the world of man. Nature tirelessly weaves her tapestry. The sunlit waterscape survives amidst the decaying cities of Cocoon. This was once a protected wilderness zone, and even without the Falsi overseers, the landscape flourishes. Yet amidst the teeming growth, the seeds of destruction are being quietly sown. Each reunion is a twist of the knife. The joy is ephemeral. It leaves fear in its wake. A fear that all too soon the time will come when you must bid farewell again. Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Humanity's great frailty. We prefer 
past happiness to future uncertainty. So this is what the end of the world looks like. Are they going to destroy the planet? I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. Which means there must be a way to stop them. Sarah, what is it? What's wrong? The daughters of the Sundered Cocoon are sacrificed to beasts that warp time itself. The pillar crumbles to ash and sand and down to earth. The cocoon does fall. What? What? Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! <gasps> Why? Why did she react the way she did? Wow. That is one gigantic monster. I don't think so. Fine, we'll do it together. Kicking me off! Come on! All together! 
Just won't stay dead. Let's go. Yeah, we'll hit it hard while it's down, you know. I mean, we get out of here. Look, that way. Come on, Snow. Let's Whoa, go. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Listen, hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes you gotta make a stand. You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. You got a name? Kopo. <laughs> uh, um, this is Noel. And this is Snow. We're getting married. It's on hold for now. Uh. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. <laughs> Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Kupu. Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? <sighs> you really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanille and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. Hmm. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe Lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar. So she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you gotta make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. says she's doing all right. You got nothing to worry about. Oops, a smart kid. Listen, Sarah, I got an idea. How about putting your search on hold for a spell? Right now, it's Fang and Vanille who really need our help. And if the pillar continues to be damaged like this, Cocoon will start to wobble and shake. We have to do something about that plan. Hope told us to try and protect Cocoon. I think that's what my sister would want, too. None of this makes sense. 
There are thousands of Flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox, Kupu? If it is, we'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact mm -hmm. first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. But it's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with Snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. <laughs>